Idaho Springs now a former police officer pleads guilty to assault after tasing a 75-year-old man inside his home, that man's house, while he was unarmed. The victim's family is not happy with this decision. CBS 4's Katie Weiss joins us live in Clear Creek County tonight. Katie, the family was in tears today. Yes, Karen, there were very audible groans coming from the courtroom today from some very upset family members over this decision. They say this decision shows that this plea deal rather shows that the Clear Creek District Attorney is only biased and showing favoritism towards the officer responsible. What this district attorney's office is saying is to its officers is that we've got your back. The attorney and family of 75-year-old Michael Clark disgusted by the plea deal given to 36-year-old Nicholas Hanning. Hanning was initially charged with felony assault of an at-risk person for tasing Clark while he was unarmed and wearing only his boxers last May. But with the plea deal, it's now only a misdemeanor assault charge. They did send us an email about two or three weeks ago just telling us that the plea was going to be to third-degree assault without explanation, uh, without consulting. Um, without asking what Mr. Clark would want. Police were called to Clark's Idaho Springs apartment complex on May 30th after a neighbor claimed an older man hit her. When officers knocked on Clark's door, he answered with this long knife in hand, saying he didn't know it was the police because the police did not announce themselves when knocking and did not stand in the view of Clark's peephole. Clark put the weapon down when he was asked, but when Clark wouldn't get on the ground, Hanning tased him. His family says Clark suffered a stroke as a result, causing brain damage. Now they say he can't even feed himself. And people who hurt old, innocent individuals, fragile like him, deserve to be punished more. Despite receiving several letters asking her not to, the judge granted the plea deal on one condition, that the court would first hear a request from Clark's family for a special prosecutor to be assigned to the case. Clark's son is doubtful that will happen. So I'm sure they're going to hear it, but it's going to be no different than the hearing today. Now, Hanning's attorney tells me that he has no comment, and in the meantime, the Clear Creek County Assistant District Attorney emphasized in court today that they're not showing any favoritism in this case. And in a written statement, the DA's office also said that this plea will make Hanning subject to up to two years in prison and will ensure that Hanning will no longer be able to serve as a cop in Colorado. Reporting live in Georgetown, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.